Hello friends, welcome to another video of my channel. In this video, I will show you my Adnox STEM at Home Challenge 3. That is inspired by a classic math puzzle called as the Tower of Hanoi. The aim of the challenge is to create my own puzzle set and solve the riddle. Also, let us figure out how much moves and time it takes to solve the riddle if we have n number of discs. Hey, I am Janath. I will show you interesting STEM experiments every week in my channel. What is Towers of Hanoi? The Tower of Hanoi, also called as the Lucas Tower, was invented by a French mathematician, Edouard Lucas, in the 19th century. It is associated with a legend of a temple where the puzzle was supposedly used to increase the mental discipline of young priests. The young priests were given 64 discs stacked neatly on one of the three posts. Each disc rested on a slightly larger disc. The goal was to recreate the stacks on a different post with the following conditions. Number 1. By moving discs one at a time to another post. And number 2. A larger disc to, could never be placed on top of a smaller disc. The aim of the game is to find the most efficient way to solve the problem. We might wonder how mathematics is involved in playing the game. As we play the game with more and more discs, we will notice patterns and we use one of the following mathematical concepts. Iterative solutions, where the same sequence of instructions is repeated over and over again. Recursive solutions, where you use the information from one step to find the next step. And patterns and translating these into mathematical formulas. I used three pencils to represent the three towers. Tower 1 tower 2 and tower 3. I cut five different color foam boards in a circular shape in different sizes to represent the discs. Now let me start to solve the puzzle with one disc. It is very simple and takes only one step to move the disc. Take the disc from tower 1 to tower 3. Now let us try with two discs. Now I insert one more disc. And now the first step is to move the disc from tower 1 to tower 2. Then move another disc from tower 1 to tower 3. And then move a disc from tower 2 to tower 3. Yay! We completed it. So it took three steps for two discs. Now let me increase one more disc. And let's try with three discs. So I put three discs. And now first step is to move from tower 1 to tower 3. Second step is to move from tower 1 to tower 2. The third step is move from tower 3 to tower 2. The fourth step is to move from tower 1 to tower 3. The fifth step is to move from tower 2 to tower 1. The sixth step is to move from tower 2 to tower 3. And finally, the seventh step is to move from tower 1 to tower 3. So, it takes seven steps to complete three discs. Now, let me do for five discs. It took 31 steps to complete 5 discs. Now let us think how many steps took when we increased the number of discs. When we add 1 disc, it took 1 step. When we add 2 discs, it took 3 steps. When we add 3 discs, it took 7 steps. When we add 4 discs, it took 15 steps. And when we had 5 discs, we took 31 steps. Now look at the pattern. The number of steps took to complete n number of disc will be n minus 1 disc times 2 plus 1. For example, 5 disc took 2 times 15 plus 1. So in general, we can see the formula to complete n disc. It takes 2 to the power of n minus 1 steps. Time 
calculation. Let us assume that it will take 1 second to move 1 disc. So, 3 seconds will be able to move 2 disc. In 7 seconds, we will be able to move 3 disc. 15 seconds, we will be able to move 4 disc. And in 31 seconds, we will be able to move 5 disc. Did you know it takes more than 34 years to move 30 discs? Now, let me try with 50 discs. 1, 2, 3, 3, I did it! Yeah! for my channel for more awesome STEM experiments videos every week. Bye-bye!